Everybody loves a sequel these days. And we're back to take you inside Man United's Youth Academy. Last time out, we showed you ballers like Garnacho and Menu, but it turns out we barely scratched the surface. So, here are more future gems you'll definitely want to see in the United First Team very soon. Let's open things up with Hannibal Mejbri. 20-year-old Hannibal Mejbri is a midfield maestro with quality control, dribbling, and an eye for a pass. The youngster is most suited to playing a number 10 role and has spent most of his time in the United Youth setup playing that position. Mejbri was born in France to Tunisian parents. He learned his craft in the Paris FC youth setup before moving to Bologna Biancourt for a year and then on to AS Monaco. A few English sides had kept an eye on the youngster, but it was Manchester United who made a move, paying a fee of 5 million euros, potentially rising to 10. Mejbri and his parents were keen on the move, having become disappointed with the setup at Monaco, feeling like breaches had been made to his contract. Mejbri had already made his breakthrough in the United First Team. Three days after winning Reserve Player of the Year, he made his first team debut against Wolves, coming on in the 82nd minute during United's final game of the season. The 2022-2023 season has seen Mejbri go for a productive loan at Birmingham City. Though the club had been inconsistent in the championship, Mejbri's performances have been a highlight and he shows plenty of class for the level. Manager John Eustace even described Mejri as unplayable. He'll benefit from the move in the long term and maybe even become an important member of the United First Team next season, if he can improve his goals and assist numbers. He's already a key member of a very decent Tunisia team too. Next under the microscope is a name you'll know, Savage, Charlie Savage. Yes, the son of former class of 92 member Robbie Savage, Charlie has a bright future in the game. Though Robbie was known for his impressive stamina and shithousery more than his footballing ability, Charlie Savage is an entirely different type of player. Savage Jr. is fancied as a bit more of a cultured player, able to play as either a deep playing playmaker or as a box to box player but he's a tidy passer of the ball who keeps the ball moving and finds his teammates. He's also disciplined defensively and not without some of his old man's better traits. The fact Savage made the grade for the United Youth Team says a lot, particularly given the high quality the academy is producing in recent years. He spent his entire academy years at United too. And while some might question whether nepotism is involved, Savage has consistently proved in the youth games that he belongs there. As yet, Charlie hasn't made his full debut for United. It's a particularly difficult position to break into right now, being right in the thick of the action, where mistakes can also be very costly. Savage has had a frustrating loan at Forest Green Rovers in League One. On the one hand, his form has caught the eye and been a breath of fresh air, but on the other, he's playing for a side struggling at the bottom of the table. Recently appointed manager and legendary hardcase Duncan Ferguson has been impressed by how much ground Charlie covers in matches, sometimes 12 kilometers or 7.5 miles, depending on where you are in the world. But either way, the kid's got a real engine on him. Now on to one of our favorites and potentially the next big thing, Ahmad Diallo. This young Ivorian winger has plenty of skill and explosive pace. He's got a number of important attributes that will make him a great fit for the style and setup that Eric Ten Hag has created at United. The left footer is almost as good with his right foot and enjoys operating on the right flank and cutting inside. The youngster signed for Italian side Atlanta in 2015 and rose through their youth setup before becoming a member of the first team squad in 2019. Diallo's skill caught the eye, and he made four appearances for the team after making his debut and scoring on it when he was just 17. 
United scouts caught wind and quickly made a move for him back in 2021. Many talk about this player, who is unknown to most people except his previous clubs. But United saw enough to sanction a 25 million euro transfer, which could go up to 40 million which is a big chunk of change for a youngster. After making his debut for United in the Europa League, he then made his Premier League debut against Leicester City and saw his first goal for the club come against AC Milan in the Europa League. He's since benefited from loan moves. In the 2021-2022 season, he was loaned to Rangers, where he played 13 times and scored three goals. But a better test came in the 2022-2023 where he has shown for championship team Sunderland with nine goals in 32 appearances. He's already got three caps for the Ivory Coast, but more will follow. But most importantly for a United breakthrough, the kid has an end product. Watch this space, guys. Now to a Uruguayan ace, Facundo Palistri. At 21, Palistri is almost reaching the now or never stage. He rose through the ranks of Uruguayan team Peñarol. This silky winger has all the technical skill you expect from a South American winger, though not as explosive as Diallo, for example. He's got great ability to twist, turn, and glide through opposition players with great close control. His dribbling skill and vision aren't unlike Lionel Messi, though his end product isn't anywhere near that level yet. He's been compared to former United legend and tabloid rogue Ryan, lock up your wives, gigs. Palistri played 37 games for Peñarol before moving to Manchester United in 2020 with an endorsement from Diego Forlan. The following January, he went on loan to the Spanish side Alves, playing 12 games. Then he returned for a full season between 2021 and 2022, playing another 23 games for Alves. It felt like Ole Solskjaer was a little reluctant to bed Palistri in, but Eric Ten Hag's increased focus on youth has opened the door for the Uruguayan international. In the 2022-2023 season, Palistri has made a few appearances after a debut against Charlton in the League Cup. He then made his Premier League debut against Leeds in February. It seems like he's put himself in contention, and a good preseason should increase his chances of making United's first team going into the 2023-2024 season. So, who's last on our list? Let's look at Ethan Laird. Born in Basingstoke, Laird joined Old Trafford's academy at only nine years old. Skilled as a traditional right back or a right wing back, Laird is fast and has shown strong defensive skills while moving up through United's age groups. Though not the most spectacular player, he's managed to get plenty of games under his belt over the years. For several years, things were messy at Manchester United, and Laird wasn't likely to get thrown in anytime soon. Even though there was a clear weakness at right back before Ten Hag resurrected Juan Bissaka. Now, with Ten Hag running the rule over promising youngsters, Laird may get a chance to add to the two Europa appearances he has for the first team. Between 2021 and 2022, Laird spent time on loan at MK Dons, Swansea City, and Bournemouth, giving him valuable game time at a good level. He took a step further in the 2022-2023 season, becoming a mainstay for QPR and scored his first senior goal with a back heel flick against Hull City. Without a great deal of depth in the right back area, Ten Hag may look at a youth player to cover Juan Bissaka and Dalot. Laird's time, like the others, will surely come. So watch this space. Loving this vid? Make sure you catch part one of our Inside Manchester United's Academy series. Drop a comment if you're up for a part three and tell us who we should feature.